Hello! How's everyone doing today? Welcome back. So I just wanted to quickly, before I start here, thank everyone who has watched my videos in the past. And if you continue watching the videos, thank you for supporting me, basically. So today we're going to go ahead and mash out the sun orb and get to the boss. Gosh, damn it. I clicked again. Okay. <clears throat> so, how's everyone doing? Uh, let me tell you, I, um, I'm doing okay. I, I, I made that new thumbnail, uh, recently, and it seems to have been received pretty well. It was a, it was a bit of work, but, you know, it was, it was fine after I figured out how to do it. I think, I think I'm, I'm kind of excited about it, because I'm actually, I feel like I'm learning. I mean, I don't know if I'm learning positive things or negative things, but I'm learning something, you know. It feels nice to do. Um, recently, I've, uh, you know, just, I don't know, I don't know, I, I felt like I was like, I don't know what I needed to do more, better, and um, the thumbnail seems to be more result, well received at least in the last 24 hours in comparison to other ones so it's like ah, yay you know it is it's it it did a little bit better and you know what that's that's all i can ask for really because i see this as a fun thing to do and learn but as well as a um you know it, it feels like every time i release a video it's like a test you know and, and a little bit it's a little bit upsetting when you're like uh you know, you go down, and or you didn't do as well as you did before, and it's like, okay, what did I do wrong in my test this time? <laughs> it's like, okay, how can I fix it? What can I do to make you guys more interested in what I'm doing? And so I'm always willing to listen to feedback for that. Um, I'm prob my videos probably uh, need some more grabbing for attention in terms of like. Uh, you know, I didn't think I needed an intro and outro, but I mean, I think some people like that, so I'm gonna work on making that, and hopefully it'll be. What's that weird noise? I don't know. That that was that was kind of like an air command, anyways. And so I'm gonna try to make one of those. See how that goes. See if you guys see if it's enjoyable. You know. And again, I just want to say thank you again for. Uh, when it clicked and you didn't you know and watching even if it wasn't very long you know it's it, at least it gives me some type of like oh you know this was done better than before and you know I'm 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 planning on continue working on it you know there there are thousands of videos and lots of uploads happening every day and so I mean it's not like you guys have a lack of people you can go watch so every time someone clicks I, I greatly appreciate it um, and, uh, another thing I wanted to mention I was trying to I don't know be a little bit different in that um, a lot of youtubers I typically see don't mention um, other YouTubers, YouTube videos stuff like that and um, I think the ones that I do are trying to grab for attention I wasn't so much grabbing for attention as I was more using it for... It's, it's a style that you see in academics a lot. And I guess it's for um, strengthening arguments and stuff like that. So not only could it be used to get... Oh no, my Discord stuff is up in the top corner. I might have to edit that out. <laughs> Um, I should probably will edit it out when it pops up, so I remember to feel do that. I have to, I'll have to fix that overlay problem. Anyways, um, yeah, no, uh, it adds to your like uh, credibility for certain things because when you're small and unestablished, right, you you could be saying words off, off the top of your head and. Of course, no one will not be able to believe you, but if you say, okay, well, I got this idea 
based around Angry Joe's argument, based around Heel versus Babyface's argument, based around this person's argument, then all of a sudden you go from sounding like you know nothing to um, establishing that, okay, with your input as well as everyone else's input, you can come around with this argument. And I think that's one way that uh, videos and reviews uh, probably are going to end up going, they're going to start emulating academia in that sense, because in academia, what you do is you end up, um, in order to make it to where you're not just saying things out of your ass, you're just like, hey, uh, you know, this professor said this, this professor said this, and from those two conclusions I can draw this. And usually you need multiple sources, like three or four of them. Um, and so I think that's a place that um, could be explored in more. And so when I'm trying to, uh, when I'm trying to, um, because it, there's there's many writings saying that you know everything's an argument, right? And uh, like the one I mentioned with Okayu is like um, she has uh she had a dislike for her voice extreme dislike for her voice and then you know she started liking it more because people said oh you know i like your voice kind of thing and i was referencing it because you know i have a similar problem and i was saying back you know i also have this problem and then i'm saying here's another person with this problem so it's not that uncommon so i'm trying to tell to my audience here that hey you know if you don't like your voice it's understandable it's it's not that it's, it's something that happens to everyone, um, especially through the symptom of recording stuff. I had to listen to my voice before on um, when I was speaking back uh, Japanese because we had to record our voice and um, assignment things so that we could uh, basically be in a setting that's kind of uncomfortable and um, as though you're talking to something and responding in for uh, my Japanese classes and so that was one place in which um, you know you had to listen to your voice and you sit there and go ugh I hate it <laughs> and so it's something that kind of got exposed a little bit early um, I, it was good practice though so I enjoyed it I mean you basically had to go and speak with someone and you kind of have a conversation and that's how that rolled and it was, it was good practice, and I, I, I didn't enjoy it, but I understood its purpose and thought, okay, well, maybe this is a good thing to do anyways. Alright. Okay, let's check and see if those... I, I'm pretty sure those are the ones we need to level up, so... This is like, whatever. Oh, man. So... <laughs> beyond that, basically, it's just, it's just to explain uh, my thought process process in um, in the why I do certain things you know because I think that um, uh, as other people have said explaining yourself is kind of a good thing to do so you know, I thought I would go ahead and do that um, but I mean you're also here to be entertained so I don't feel like uh, certain things I say is like necessarily good to be uh, talking about or entertained about or something like that. And and I think that that kind of style would actually probably be more beneficial for like a review kind of thing, but um, it can also be used in general for uh, other things and it just, like I said, uh, establishes a basis for what you're saying. Of course, there's people who are out there who are uh, who don't care, and then there's people out there who are egotistical, who are like, "My voice is the best, and you suck." And you know, there are those people. <laughs> I can't. I don't think I can mm, have that. It's not. It's, this is not my style so much. Well, I wouldn't say it's so much my style. It's just kind of how I am from growing up that way. But you know, on to other things. Oh man, what, what else do I want to talk about? Today? You know, 
That was just a major thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, so we're on our way to kill uh, Solaris. No, 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 kill Solaris. Kill the person who's holding Solaris's orb. And, it's, you know, shouldn't be difficult. We have so far just kind of... I wonder if I can sit there and smash this face. And just kind of take the damage. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually I can. Okay, well, this isn't hard then. I just put that up so that we can re reduce his resistances. Ah, his resistances. Because we have that, um... We have a... Uh, flammability totem setup. And basically our totems will automatically um, our totems will automatically cast flame ability when you're we right. put them out you're right okay. Okay. and we automatically cast flame ability and will thus reduce the enemy resistances to our attacks by a significant margin um, and unlike like the overwhelm ability in our tree, it can actually make things go in the negative, so we can actually start doing more damage, but it's always technically more damage. It's just not like super significant as much as you go negatives, I think. I don't know. I'm not quite sure about all the damage calculations. There's, um, I've mentioned it before, but Engineering Eternity, he's a really good, um, person for any of these because he he goes deep into the damage calculations but these videos are not meant for um deep damage calculation thing these videos are meant to just establish um kind of a build and work that anyone can do and that is fairly easy because uh, uh, I want anyone to be able to do it because I feel that this game gets an unfair rap for being difficult and so I just wanted to point out it's like hey it's not difficult there is a really easy build you can do that anyone can do and it's just simply following along this path or these paths and you know I was going you know I changed up the thing a couple times because people say you can't change it and this is to some degree true you you don't want to go around and have to redo the entire tree so there's that mess up but you can undo recent changes and um you almost have to actively think on your build about what you what you're going for and whether what you're choosing works or not and if it doesn't you can technically um you know restart from scratch i think one of the things that they need to do possibly is um, give everyone a, a chance to uh, rework um, after um, like they hit Act 10 and they complete the boss. I think that would be maybe a good idea to give one, everyone for one free rework, rework. My one character who I have hold basically everything who's in the standard league edition, he uh, has one free rework because they changed up the trees so much so he, he can rework things. I think it's probably passed by now, but and I can no longer do it. But the, the point is is that um, they've done it before, so I don't see why you wouldn't give everyone just a you know free re rework tree at one uh, for you know uh, that point as part of the hey you know you finished you know you also get two extra passive points. Okay, I should be just fighting the boss right now. <laughs> I know. But anyways, that's something I think I should do. Alright. Now it's time to go fight this boss. Uh, it's the twin sisters. Twin goddesses. They will give us our final major thing. They're actually here fighting. I always wondered, though, if they will continue fighting till uh, someone is dead or they're both dead. If you just sit there and let them do it. Anyways, you attack one of them. Or you can attack both. If you can, I wonder if you can evenly distribute your damage and let's say it's 100% even if you could just um, go ahead and
All right, I died there. Got interrupted by my mother. Ugh, she's such a troublemaker. Okay. So now we can just, now we can just get through this. I'm recording it now. Yes. Okay. Good. I'm recording it. God damn it. Uh, now I'm all. Uh, I don't want to talk. I want to go hide in a hole now. Again, I don't know. I feel about things. Certain things are embarrassing. And I know I shouldn't be, but you know, it's just kind of how I am. I'm gonna be really quiet too. Ah, uh, no. God damn it. Okay, well this should be not too hard of a fight to do anyways. It doesn't matter. She she came in and brought me some food, yay. Because I, I have not eaten yet today and I've just been uh I just started this up again. There we go. There's a louder voice. Haha. Ooh, screen shake. Nice. Ah. Uh -huh. You know, I, I guess I'm just not as tough as I thought I was. Can't take all that damage. Nope. Ow. I died again. I mentioned we're at the point of the game where um, we start losing experience every time we die. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there's one dead. Why is it so much? Why was it so much? Why was I dying? Wait, am I not getting my... I'm not getting my one thing either. Why is my shield not popping up? An amazing shield that blocks all of my... Is it... Am I not the right level for it? Yeah, it's not popping up at all. Well... I can't say that was easy. It wasn't technically difficult. And I think I've died still less than I do for some a lot of my other characters. Uh, mm, that's the one I prefer because usually I'm going to die to bosses. Why, why didn't it activate? Okay, 52. I leveled up Molten Shell again. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Okay. Guys, make sure you don't level up the molten shell. If you're doing this build, you're doing that. Now we're in the Bud Aquinox. It's all fiery and death. What have I been going for, anyways? Oh man, this place sucks. You made death be upon you. I mean, how many people die? Or is this like an artificial blood? You know, like the, the Prince of Egypt kind of thing. You know, there's like rivers of blood, and I don't think anyone died right away. I think it was just like, um, maybe they used the chemical things to artificially make blood. That'd be interesting. All right. Uh, here we are moving on to Act 9. Basically getting our way done with the game. Um, I'm going to wrap up here. You know, goodbye. Avi to say. Sayonara. Ciao, Mata. I don't know how to say it in a lot of other languages. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye.